Good morning, everyone. Today is the 29th of November, Monday morning. Hope you have a good week this week. Um, I've entitled this video this morning, um, it's devotional loyalty. Loyalty. You know, Christ told us in the 24th chapter of Matthew that many would be offended and betray one another. Even, you know, mother-in-laws and brother against brother and so on. In the world we're living in, our loyalty must first and foremost be to Jesus Christ and not to man. And we should not be loyal to those who are coming against the Word of God. And we should not um, be building people up that are in false doctrines. You know, a lot of people are promoting General Flynn right now. General Flynn is a Roman Catholic. You know, and a lot of people are promoting um, people that are at least suspect. Don't promote people if you do not uh, know what their doctrine is, what they stand for. Now, word on the street is uh, General Flynn and Attorney Lynn Wood are at odds. I don't know. I heard a recording where they were uh, questioning each other's loyalty. <laughs> and also, of course, we hear so many stories out there about QAnon and uh, all of these things, but we have to go back and look at the source and some of the people that are talking about it. You know, look at uh, Donald Trump. Donald Trump endorsed the vaccinations. Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson and Johnson, and you know, gave himself an attaboy for the warp speed that it went by getting it approved for use an experimental poison. Well, the reason I'm bringing this up this morning is that people are putting their loyalties in the wrong places. Our loyalty should be to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He's our only hope. He's our only refuge. Not QAnon or Trump or Biden or Kamala Harris or um, Mike Pence or anybody else. San, Governor San, whatever his guy's name is from Florida. I'm not saying that uh, they don't say some good things at times. They have to say some good things to be accepted by their constituency. Jesus Christ said a lot of things that people absolutely rejected and they ended up killing him. So our loyalty needs to be to Christ and not to man. Put no confidence in man. Put no confidence in the flesh. Don't put any confidence even in yourself. I can't put any confidence in myself. I was made out of dust. But if I have the Spirit of God in me, the Bible tells us that He will guide us into all truth. He will give us the light, the guiding light that we need to make discernments on our daily basis. Are we being loyal to the gospel? A lot of people say they're not ashamed of the gospel. But the, the gospel that they say they're not ashamed of is not the gospel of the Bible. Okay? And so, I think that we have to uh, examine what people are saying. People saying that Jesus died for the sins of the whole world. 
Are people saying that it's an offer? Are people saying that it's uh, it's up to you to convert yourself, to let Jesus in your heart? Or are they saying that God chose us in him from the foundation of the world? That he died for a particular group of people? And his sheep know his voice and they follow him. All that the Father had given him will come to him. And all that come to him he will in no wise cast out. And nothing can pluck us out of his hand. Is that the true gospel? Yes. What I've just iterated to you in the last minute is the true gospel. Jesus died on the cruel and rugged cross of Calvary. He went to the grave. He came up out of the grave. He seated it in the right hand of the throne of God. Our loyalty needs to be to the gospel that I've just reiterated, not to a false, universal, uh, feel-good gospel. Why do so many of the churches deny election and predestination? The golden chain of salvation is found in Romans 8, 28-39. For those for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate. And those whom he predestinate, he also called. And those whom he called, he also uh, justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. What shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Who can lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It's God that justifies. Christ that died. So this morning, let our loyalties be to Jesus Christ alone. And let us not get involved in all these uh, debates and politics and, and uh, you know, let us focus on Christ and Him crucified. God bless.